Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. In today's tutorial we will look at the flame sensor module and how to use it with the Raspberry Pi Pico. We will look at a very basic example where if the sensor detects a flame it will trigger an alarm and turn on a DC motor with a propeller connected to blow out the flame. This flame sensor module detects fire or a flame source or any other type of light source of the wavelength in the range of 760 nanometers up to 1100 nanometers. It is based on a YG1006 sensor, a high speed and high sensitive NPN silicon phototransistor. Due to its black epoxy, the sensor is sensitive to infrared radiation. When the sensor detects a flame, the signal LED will light up and the D0 pin will go to high. Features that makes this model great is due to the high photosensitivity, fast response time and also the sensitivity is adjustable through the onboard resistor to control the gain of the onboard LM393 amplifier IC. The sensor module has 4 pins, VCC, ground, digital output and also an analog output. In this tutorial we will be only using the digital output pin. To follow along with the example, you will need the following components. Raspberry Pi Pico with header pins, the flame sensor module, LM298N motor driver, which we covered in a previous video, along with a 3 to 6 volt DC motor and propeller, a buzzer module, breadboard with a few wires, and then finally something to burn. Just be careful not to start a fire accidentally. We will connect the module as indicated in the schematic diagram, Make all the necessary connections as shown. After making all the connections, head over to my GitHub repository, link given in the description, where I have included all the code. Open example.py and copy all the code and inside Fonny create a new file and paste the code. Let's take a look at the code together. We start by importing all the necessary libraries, pen and PWM from machine and uTime for setting up delays. We then set up all the pins as indicated in a schematic diagram, making the flame sensor a pin in and the buzzer and input 1 and 2 of the motor as an output and for enable A we will set it up as a PWM. We set the buzzer high initially and define the frequency of the duty cycle for the motor driver, enable pin A. We then create an endless loop and inside we create a second loop if our flame sensor value equals to 1 and we know a flame has been detected. We then trigger the buzzer by setting it low and starting our motor with the propeller to blow out the flame with a short delay. If no flame is detected we turn off the buzzer and motor and print out no flame. We will then have a short delay and the loop will then repeat. And that is the basics of working with the flame sensor module. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did consider subscribing to the channel for more projects and tutorials related to the Raspberry Pi Pico. I will see you in the next video.